NASA and Howe Industries are collaborating on an innovative rocket technology aimed at significantly reducing the duration of trips to Mars. The pulsed plasma rocket, designed to deliver 100,000 newtons of thrust, promises to achieve velocities of approximately 500,000 miles per hour. This breakthrough could transform the current two-year Mars round trip into a seven-month journey. Stay with us as we delve deep into this groundbreaking technology and provide you with its detailed components, how this technology works, and its advantage over the traditional rocket technology. So, the distance between Earth and Mars varies widely, ranging from 34.7 million miles to 248.8 million miles, depending on their relative positions in their orbits around the Sun. A round trip to Mars, under present technology, takes approximately two years, with nine months for each leg of the journey and an additional three months on Mars awaiting optimal planetary alignment. And our current rocket technology faces several limitations that challenge the feasibility of Mars missions. These include inefficient propulsion systems with low specific impulse and high fuel consumption, necessitating large fuel loads that limit payload capacity. The significant thrust required for both launch and space maneuvers, coupled with the long travel time of approximately nine months each way, complicates mission logistics. To overcome these limitations, NASA is developing Pulsed Plasma Rocket, a highly efficient propulsion system to optimize travel times. Pulsed Plasma Rocket operates using a sophisticated mechanism that involves the creation and manipulation of plasma to generate thrust, and it has four main parts. First one is Fuel Ionization Chamber, the section where the fuel gas is ionized into plasma. This chamber contains devices such as high-voltage electrodes that create the electric field necessary for ionization. Second component is Pulse Power System, which delivers short, high-energy pulses to the plasma. It includes capacitors and power electronics capable of rapidly discharging stored electrical energy. Then comes the Magnetic Nozzle, which is a specially designed nozzle that uses magnetic fields to accelerate the plasma. The magnetic fields are shaped to guide and expel the plasma efficiently, converting the plasma's thermal and electrical energy into kinetic energy. Fourth component is electromagnetic coils surrounding the nozzle generate the magnetic fields required for plasma acceleration. These coils are powered by the pulse power system and are designed to handle the rapid pulse discharges. Now let's have a quick look at the mechanism of pulsed plasma rocket. The first step in the pulsed plasma rocket mechanism is the ionization of the fuel, which is typically a gas such as xenon or argon. Ionization is the process of converting atoms or molecules into ions by adding or removing charged particles such as electrons. This is achieved by exposing the gas to a high voltage electric field, which strips electrons from the gas atoms, creating a plasma a hot, electrically conductive state of matter consisting of free electrons and ions. Once the gas is ionized into plasma, the pulsed plasma rocket rapidly discharges electrical energy into this plasma. This discharge happens in short, intense bursts rather than continuously. The rapid, pulsed nature of the energy discharge ensures that the plasma is periodically energized, which is more efficient and manageable than maintaining a continuous high-energy state. The energized plasma is then subjected to electromagnetic fields, which are generated by electromagnets placed around the nozzle of the rocket. The interaction between the charged particles in the plasma and the electromagnetic fields accelerates the plasma out of the rocket nozzle, and this process is known as electromagnetic acceleration. As the plasma is expelled at high speeds through the magnetic nozzle, it generates thrust according to Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The expulsion of plasma particles at high velocity propels the rocket in the opposite direction, creating the thrust needed to move the spacecraft. Next question to answer is that how will the pulsed plasma technology be better than our current rocket technologies? First and foremost is that the pulsed plasma rocket achieves exceptional fuel efficiency by utilizing a high specific impulse. Specific impulse measures how effectively a rocket uses its propellant the higher the specific impulse, the less propellant is needed for a given amount of thrust. 
Traditional rockets consume significant amounts of fuel quickly, necessitating large fuel payloads for long missions. In contrast, the pulsed plasma rocket's high specific impulse of 5,000 seconds means it can produce the same thrust with much less fuel, allowing for longer missions with smaller fuel loads. This efficiency is critical for deep space missions where carrying excessive fuel is impractical. Secondly, the pulsed nature of the pulsed plasma rocket allows for precise control over thrust. By generating short, controlled bursts of plasma, the pulsed plasma rocket can adjust its thrust output more accurately than continuous thrust engines. This fine-tuned thrust control is particularly advantageous for maneuvering in space, where precise adjustments are necessary for tasks such as docking, orbital insertion, and navigating around obstacles. Enhanced maneuverability ensures that spacecraft can respond to navigational demands with greater agility and accuracy. Next advantage is thermal management. Continuous operation of traditional rocket engines generates substantial heat, which can lead to overheating and wear on engine components. The pulsed plasma rocket is pulsed operation reduces the amount of heat generated at any given moment, allowing for better thermal management. By avoiding constant high temperatures, the pulsed plasma rocket minimizes thermal stress on its components, thereby extending their operational lifespan. Effective thermal management is crucial for maintaining the reliability and longevity of propulsion systems, especially on extended missions. One of the most transformative advantages of the pulsed plasma rocket is its ability to achieve extraordinarily high speeds, potentially up to 500,000 miles per hour. Such speeds represent a significant leap over current propulsion technologies. High velocities are essential for reducing travel times between planets. For instance, a trip to Mars, which currently takes about nine months with conventional rockets, could be shortened to a matter of weeks or months with the pulsed plasma rocket. This reduction in travel time not only enhances mission efficiency, but also reduces the duration astronauts are exposed to space radiation and other hazards of long-duration space travel. Towards the end, a quick look at the development and future prospects of this breathtaking technology. Initially derived from the pulsed fission fusion concept, the pulsed plasma rocket has been modified for cost effectiveness, reduced size and simplicity. The current NASA Innovative Advanced Concepts phase. I study focuses on designing large, heavily shielded spacecraft for human and cargo transport to Mars. This phase includes optimizing the engine design for reduced mass and higher specific impulse, conducting proof-of-concept experiments, and completing a ship design for shielded human missions. And to summarize the whole discussion, the pulsed plasma rocket represents a significant advancement in space propulsion technology, combining the principles of plasma physics and electromagnetic acceleration to achieve high-efficiency, high-thrust propulsion. By leveraging the benefits of pulsed energy discharge, the pulsed plasma rocket offers a promising solution for reducing travel times and increasing the feasibility of long-distance space missions. Thank you for staying with us. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified about our upcoming videos.